What's going on YouTube? So if there's one thing American automakers are great at, it's at making some of the best and most out there performance models in the entire auto industry. And it doesn't really get any wilder than strapping a 682 horsepower supercharged V8 to a 6400 pound ultra luxury SUV. We've had the wallet draining privilege of driving this Escalade V for the past week. So, did it live up to the hype? Let's go ahead and find out. So after all these years, Cadillac has finally V'd the Escalade. And you're probably wondering, what does the exterior look like, you know, in terms of the changes? Cadillac hasn't changed a ton because actually the Sport Platinum version was already pretty aggressive looking. But let's go ahead and dive into the front end first. So as you can see, we do have a large and really blacked out grille. We have this kind of performance mesh that goes through here and the black surrounds on the outside edges. But the real changes are gonna be down here on the lower fascia. So as you can see, everything's a lot more aggressive looking. We've got this flared out element. You've got a really aggressive lower body kit, which has this gloss black as well as body color elements. And then you've got this mesh down here in the lower fascia. It's kind of a subtle hint of what is right behind this grill. One more thing is different on the front end design. It's gonna be this element right here. You basically have a fake vent area that goes around this vertical daytime running light and turn signal indicator. Now, speaking of lighting, the rest of the headlight unit is gonna be located up here. It's gonna be your cube design, full LED headlights with a lot of beautiful details and animations, just like with the regular model. Now, another thing that's different is over here at your wheels. So we do have unique 22 inch, 18 spoke alloy wheels. As you can tell, we've got this dark gray finish on board. It does also have a V branding on this spoke right here. Um, and as you can see, really nice look overall to this design. We don't have performance tires. These are actually the standard Bridgestone lenses, just like the regular model. But what is really enhanced is right here. Behind those spokes, you'll see the red brake calipers for 16.1 inch six piston Brembo brakes. So obviously you need a lot of stopping power to stop this beast because you've got a lot of power to propel you forward. And indeed it does. Now, as we rise on up, large V emblem here on the side. And then as far as the mirrors, they're gonna be fully loaded just like any Escalade. So you've got blind spot monitoring, you have auto dimming, power folding, and you also have the projection lamp that goes down on the ground with the Cadillac emblem. Now that we're at the side of the Escalade V, you're gonna of course notice, if you didn't already know, the Escalade is a big, big three row SUV. It's gonna be about 212 inches long for the regular wheelbase. And Cadillac actually does offer the ESV on the V model. So you can have a 227 inch long vehicle with that big engine under the hood. So that's certainly a nice element that they've included. We're gonna have blacked out surrounds for everything because of course this is the performance oriented Escalade model. And then working our way around to the rear design of the Escalade V. You're probably already hearing a little bit of the difference, but I wanna talk about the design first. We'll get to the exhaust. Um, now, as far as the design, really not a lot is different. I, the only thing that's different really is the V badge over here, but we're gonna have blacked out surrounds for the uh, middle part, our Cadillac emblem. Then our tail light is going to be a nice full length LED design, just like we've seen on other Escalade models. This is gonna have animations, so when you lock the vehicle as well as unlocking, it has nice little cool animations going on. We have some intricate detailing through there. There's our V badge, which like I said, is pretty much the only difference until you get down to the lower diffuser area. When you get down here, you're probably already hearing it and you can see it. We have quad exhaust outlets and this has an active exhaust system and I t <laughs> I'm gonna be honest and tell you guys this might be my favorite exhaust that I've ever heard so let's go ahead and take a listen before we take it out on a drive <laughs> In 
very environmentally friendly. Now I did almost forget to mention this can tow 7,000 pounds as well if you can't fit it inside of the Escalade V. Now as far as your warranty and safety information, let's go ahead and discuss that. Uh, so for the safety information, as you would expect out of a very expensive vehicle like this, you're going to have every single system as standard equipment. That's going to be forward emergency braking, lane keeping assist, auto high beam headlamps, as well as adaptive cruise control. That being said, they do have one optional system and that's Cadillac Super Cruise system. That's available for $2,500 on the Escalade V. We've tested that out before and it's certainly a good system to have if you do a lot of highway driving so we would recommend buying that. Now as far as your warranty information is concerned you're going to have four year 50,000 miles for your basic warranty, six year 70,000 miles for your powertrain and you're also going to have one complimentary service visit. But guys without further ado let's go ahead and hop into the Escalade V's cabin. So walking up to the Escalade, you do have special approach lighting and projections at nighttime, as well as in the door handle. And then you do have a special fob for the V. As you can see, it is finished in this really nice red color with the V across the top. And as far as your actual functionality, of course, you have standard smart entry and remote start as well. Now to get inside, just reach behind the handle and squeeze the pad that's located behind it. When you do, the mirror will fold out and you also have the power deploying running board. All right, so let's go ahead and climb inside. Of course, this is very easy to get in with the running board and also the air suspension does automatically lower when you're in park. Gotta love that animation that plays when you first get inside the vehicle. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about our interior material and color choices right from the start. You do have standard semi-aniline leather seats, as you would expect at this price point, and you've got two different interior color choices. You have jet black, which is what we have today, or you also have a dark auburn color option. As you can see, both of them will come with really nice color contrast piping. Um, we have the little Cadillac thing right there in the middle and the seat itself is quilted absolutely lovely and feels super, super soft and supple. This is actually one of the things I do want to talk about though because Cadillac said customers did not really want the Escalade V to be hardcore. So you're not gonna notice any changes to the seat as far as like having intense bolstering or anything like that. It is gonna be the same as in the Sport Platinum which I think is a good idea. Now speaking of same, it is the same adjustments as well. So it's gonna be a 12 way power adjusting seat, four way lumbar support and you do also have power massaging abilities. Now the doors, they are going to be soft close and they're finished in beautiful material. So we have leather all through here, beautiful leather going through there with the color contrast piping. You have this dark zebra finished wood on all the Escalade V's, leather across the top with stitching details and a real aluminum door handle. Of course, you're going to find standard three stage heated and three stage ventilated seats as well as memory seating. So we move on up, you've got high quality materials every place that you can see. So you've got leather all across the upper dash. You even have leather that trims around the displays, more color contrast stitching, more of the genuine zebra wood, more leather through there, more wood, more leather, all the way to the extreme lower areas down here. Now, as far as special touches for the V, you do have aluminum pedals down there, and we also have a V on the steering wheel. But let's go ahead and fire it up. Certainly no mistaking this is a V right from the onset. Now besides for the exhaust, the second thing you're greeted with is your really nice looking display system. So this is a full 38 inch curved OLED display, pretty much made of three different displays. And then your gauge cluster itself is gonna be 14.2 inches of that territory. As you can see right now, I'm in the really cool AR camera, just like the regular Escalade. 
Um, I can also switch it to the traditional gauges, and as you can tell, those do have a special V design that really emphasizes the tachometer. And then, of course, you do also still have the map mode, and you also have night vision as well. Above that, you've got a large 15-inch head-up display. Looks really nice, contains a lot of information as well. Now, as far as the steering wheel, it is, of course, leather wrapped, including on the airbag cover. In addition to the special V you have, you do have real metal paddle shifters, which feel really nice. The wheel itself is going to be power tilt and telescoping, and you have standard steering wheel heating. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the interior storage. So just like with the regular Escalade, you do have a large center console or an available refrigerator system. So we actually do have the optional refrigerator on this model that makes the size a little bit smaller, but of course you can use it as a refrigerator and you can still store things in there like your sunglasses or since you're driving an Escalade V, your fat stacks of Benjamin Franklin's, you can stick those in there, no problem whatsoever. And you also have your two USB ports. Right here is actually gonna be your wireless phone charging pad. And then underneath of this large piece of wood, you'll find your two large cup holders, two more USB ports, and a little storage area. And then finally, there's a little bit more storage down there on the side underneath of the shifter. Now taking a look at these shifters, this is traditional Cadillac electronic style, pull back for drive, bump back again if you wanna go into manual mode and shift with the paddle shifters, and go all the way to the front if you wanna go into reverse. Now, as you can see, you do have a standard 360-degree backup camera. Nice resolution on board with this. And, of course, the uh, cool feature that everyone likes to mess around with is your 3D view. So you can go all around the vehicle and see everything around it. Although I am noticing they didn't update the graphic to be the V model. And then on top of the shifter, you do have your park button. Obviously, it does have electronic parking brake and auto brake hold up there. Now, moving behind the shifter, you do have your control knob for the infotainment system. You also have your volume knob for the very nice 36-speaker AKG Reference Premium Audio System. Let's go ahead and give it a sample now. Yeah, so if you grow tired of listening to the exhaust system, definitely crank this bad boy up because this is a phenomenal sounding sound system. One of the best in the entire auto industry. You really hear elements of songs that you've never heard before. A lot of dimension, a lot of surround effect. You even have the speakers up there in the headrest. And of course, they're made of real metal. All right, so let's take a look at our climate controls. Three zone automatic climate control setup, just like the other Escalade models. Nice um, buttons there with good animations. Nothing really special going on there. And then we have our display. So this, of course, is the other part of the 38 inch display. This section is gonna be 16.9 inches. As far as the technology, as you can tell, I'm in the Android Auto ecosystem right now. This is running wirelessly. One of the things I do want to point out, though, is because of this, uh, how curved the infotainment system is, it does kind of crop your Android Auto and your Apple CarPlay into a smaller cube, so it doesn't really take up the full 16.9 inches. But when we go into the main infotainment system, as you can see, then it fills everything out. Uh, the resolution on the screen is just phenomenal, absolutely great. I love that kind of that Cadillac one with like a muted color scheme, but everything looks kind of three-dimensional. Just an absolutely fantastic infotainment system to use. Nice and speedy as well. And then wrapping up the front of the cabin, we do have an auto dimming mirror. You can flip that switch. It's also a rear camera system. You've got your home link universal remotes located up here in this panel with a lot of different buttons, including buttons to control your panoramic sunroof. So this does remain a standard feature here on the Escalade V. And it's nice and large with the front portion opening up. 
All right, guys, so if you're privileged enough to be riding in the second row of the Escalade V, you're certainly going to be treated to very nice accommodations, as you would expect out of a $150,000 luxury SUV. Now, as far as the space, we'll talk about that first. It's going to be the same as every other Escalade. Uh, 41.7 inches of legroom, 38.9 inches of headroom. Of course, that is plenty of space. Uh, this is a full-size three-row SUV, so there's lots of room. I'm five foot nine for reference. This is Drew's sitting position. My feet can easily slide up underneath the seat, and Cadillac is including the function to be able to slide forward and back uh, quite a distance to accommodate for taller people in the third row. Now, as far as some of the features are concerned, here in the center, we do have a nicely leather-wrapped area all through this part. We're going to have standard heated seats for the V model standard three zone climate control so we can adjust our temperature back here and then if we pop this open two cup holders nicely integrated inside we have two usb c's two hdmis a household style outlet as well the v model is going to come standard with the captain's chairs because this is basically a platinum uh, sport platinum escalade and then you also have standard the dual 12.6 inch rear seat entertainment screens uh, so these are very nice rear seat entertainment screens as you can see you can you know flip through the screen is very responsive it has a set of wireless headphones that goes with it you can go on hulu all the streaming services are included so this is a very nice rear seat entertainment system setup now turning over to our door trim we do have a nicely finished one leather on the top part we have wood trim going through here leather on the armrest portion bottle storage down in the very bottom and then working our way up from that, we have a leather-wrapped assist grip, and we're also going to have vents coming out of the ceiling. Now, one of the beauties about the Escalade V is that three rows of people can come along for a nice spin in this car. So let's go ahead and check out the third row. It's going to be the same as every other Escalade, so getting back there is just the two-click system, and it's very easy to enter into the third row. And then sitting back here, we're going to have 35 inches uh, of legroom for the regular wheelbase Escalade model, uh, 38 inches of headroom, which is a lot for this segment of vehicle. If you get the ESV, you get a little bit more third row legroom. I believe it's 36 inches of legroom. So if you need the maximum third row space, you can get the ESV model. Now, this itself is very impressive, though. I'm five foot nine, like I mentioned. Look at the thigh support. It's really, really good. This is probably, I'd give this the distinction of top five best third rows that you can get in any vehicle it's just very spacious it's nicely finished cup holders on the side we also have usb ports and we have vents in the roof now another beauty of having the escalade v is that you're going to have signature escalade cargo capacity so let's go ahead and check that out now in order to open you do have a hands-free power tailgate standard equipment you can also just locate the cadillac emblem there and push that to open up the tailgate now, as far as the cargo space itself is concerned, like I've mentioned several times already, this is the standard wheelbase Escalade V model, which means we're going to have 25.5 cubic feet of cargo capacity. You might have noticed there that the car actually lowered down uh, when, it, when I opened the trunk. So that's a nice feature that the air suspension has to make loading in items a little bit easier. Uh, with the third row folded, you're looking at a little over 73 cubic feet of cargo capacity and is a maximum 121 cubic feet for the regular Escalade model. If you go for the ESV extended wheelbase version, you're looking at a little over 140 cubic feet of cargo capacity. So about 25 more cubic feet for the ESV model if you need that maximum amount of space. As far as the finishings, it's going to be signature Cadillac, nicely carpeted. Up here, you have a little bit of underfloor storage, perfect for a water bottle, it looks like. And then as far as on the side, we do have the ability to power fold our third row seats as well as our second row seats, all with one quick press to give you that maximum uh, lot of cargo capacity. That's going to be standard equipment on the V model, and we do also have a household style outlet back here. passenger seat is going to be the same as the driver so that's going to be 12-way power adjusting we do even keep the massaging abilities which i've certainly been enjoying over the past week now as far as the glove box is concerned inside of here we have plenty of space it's nicely felt lined and it is plenty of space for a hundred dollar bills we all know you got them if you're driving an escalade v you got them so just throw them up in there 
fits perfectly fine. Oh, I do also want to point out there's a little storage cubby here by my left knee with a 12 volt outlet. And then opening up the sun visor, it's a very large one, LED illuminated mirror. Um, you can also detach it as well as extend it out. Now, before we head out on the road and see how this beast performs, let's take a look under the hood. This engine is really what makes the V so special. 6.2 liter supercharged V8 engine with 682 horsepower, 653 pound feet of torque. It's an absolutely insane engine. As you can see, it is hand built. Um, by one person just like with the uh, Corvette model and that's basically what you're getting is a really high powered Corvette engine. So what's it like when you mash up a Corvette and an Escalade together? Let's go ahead and get out on the road and find out. It does. And the thing about this is, you know, it's not a two-seater. You can have all three rows filled with people That's that right. are going to have a ball. <laughs> so the 6.2 liter supercharged V8 is making 682 horsepower, which obviously is a pretty insane amount of power. The regular Escalade is no slouch, but 420 horsepower is a far cry from 682 oh, yeah. horsepower. You can definitely feel the difference. <laughs> and 653 pound-feet of torque. So, I mean, when this thing accelerates, it's kind of funny because you're in such a heavy vehicle. It, you can feel it just lift off, like, <laughs> the weight just transfers to the back, and it's just like brutally accelerating like straight down the road it's it's insane now as far as your zero to 60 time in this like 6500 pound beast it still goes zero to 60 in 4.4 seconds which is quite uh the <laughs> the feet physics tells you that that shouldn't be possible so <laughs> right this version here is about 6200 and some pounds the extended wheelbase 6400 and something pounds so it is absolutely crazy that this can accelerate like it can <laughs> absolutely nuts um, now we're in the v mode um, that is the performance drive mode and um, one of the things that does is turn everything up to you know maximum performance but especially the exhaust yeah. turns that up to 10 out of 10 um, and that's one of the big things that really stands out about this vehicle is just the exhaust is so outrageously loud yep I mean I don't I don't think a Corvette can even compare to no. how loud this is no cold start this I have on multiple occasions over the last week scared the neighbors so much so that they almost jumped. They literally jumped because this vehicle is so loud upon a cold startup. Your neighbors are definitely going to know that you own the Escalade V. And like he said, when you're in V mode, this thing makes incredible noises. And it even has, you hear it, the pops. It pops for 20 seconds every time you let off the throttle. Pops, crackles. Uh, I've never been in anything that goes on as long as this does, as soon yeah. as you let off the throttle. And you can be doing that going like 20 miles an hour in a subdivision. Yeah. You can just let off any time and just pop, 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 pop. Yeah. It is so amusing. And it's something that every pedestrian, they always are going to be looking at you. Which, oh, yeah. Which I imagine, you know, that's kind of the point uh, with a vehicle like this, of course. You really, you want that attention. Yeah, for sure. Except from the police. You don't want to touch it from the police. <laughs> that was the cop right there. So, <laughs> yeah, we turn, turn it down That's a little right. bit. <laughs> and you can quickly click that button and go into the subdued <laughs> mode when the cops show up. <laughs> Ooh. 
I mean, I, nom I seriously nominate this car. I think this is the best exhaust system I've ever been in. They, like Drew said, that you can tell they spent countless hours. They weren't really concerned about a lot of other things. They were just really concerned. I think the number one priority was make sure that the exhaust is absurdly good. <laughs> and it is. It is. <laughs> That's regular mode yes. acceleration. <laughs> <laughs> There's the normal, very subdued exhaust. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> a lot of fun, a lot of fun. But let's go ahead and hop into a few of the more practical elements. I want to get our sound level reading while we're on this stretch of road right here. So I'll Drew pick it up to 55. All right, we're sitting at 61.5 decibels, which for a large luxury SUV, that is going to be a little bit on the higher end. Am I at all surprised by that? No, I'm not, because you can still hear that exhaust. You can still hear the wonderful engine, even in the non-V mode. Um, I don't know why you would buy an Escalade V if you didn't really want to hear the engine, so uh, they really haven't given you right. <laughs> exactly. the option to turn it off, you know? point is you're, what you're hearing is the things you want to hear. Right. You're not hearing things like wind noise, road noise. No. It's just as insulated as the regular Escalade is. It's just that you have the additional extremely loud exhaust that penetrates into the cab. <laughs> it's, 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 it's way better from launch. Honestly, uh -huh. than a rolling start. It is, because um, the the Gs you experience, of course, you, it's a supercharger, so you get that just instantaneous super torque that just throws you back. Like Mason says, the, the weight starts to shift to the rear, the front raises up, and it just tremendous G-force that you feel. Now, as far as the transmission is concerned, we do have a 10-speed automatic transmission. Um, They've done a great job with this transmission. They've tuned it to really match with this vehicle so well. You know, you put your foot down, you really get power very quickly, and it blasts off shifts really fast. I was super impressed. Um, you know, you can stick it in manual mode. You can go with these paddle shifters, and you really get those shifts really quickly, almost instantaneously. And, of course, you get the exhaust, blap, blap, blap. You know, it's really yeah. rewarding to do that which I can actually uh, demonstrate as we kind of go into this more curvy section of the road. Four-wheel drive is obviously going to be standard. Um, you wouldn't want it any other way, that's no. for sure. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Back into me. <laughs> Don't have to tell me twice. That's right. <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh so you can hear the exhaust, but <laughs> it's too hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as you can see, the paddles are very nice and responsive. Now, let's also talk about some other aspects of the dynamics. Now, Mason kind of mentioned this a little earlier, but um, obviously, the main focus with this vehicle was, you know, to give you really compelling power, really compelling sound, um, but it didn't magically transform the Escalade, um, you know, into no. a CT5 <laughs> Blackwing. Absolutely <laughs> no. not. This is still a huge SUV. Now, don't get me wrong, we do have some different tuning for things like your um, magnetic ride control and your air suspension. It is a little bit firmer. I don't know how much firmer. I would say maybe 10% firmer. Yeah. 20% tops. So when you do kind of go into a corner, 
you can tell that it is a little bit more controlled but you know ultimately you're dealing with physics here yeah this is just a very very large suv yeah absolutely and you know frankly with nearly 700 horsepower it'd be a little scary to drive really fast on a curvy road <laughs> oh, yeah. i wouldn't wouldn't suggest doing that all righty so we can sit here and talk all day long about the exhaust, but I'm sure you're probably also a little bit curious. We've touched on this just a, a little bit in terms of like the ride quality and what they've done for the Escalade V as compared to the regular Escalade. I want to just go ahead and say that this thing is still incredibly, incredibly comfortable. So if you're looking at maybe getting a Sport Platinum model and comparing it to this and maybe want that extra engine noise and stuff, do not at all be concerned that this is going to be a hard edge like com <laughs> sports car and not be a comfortable Escalade that you're used to. Um, we actually sampled out the Escalade Sport Platinum for a whole week um, earlier this year. And like Drew said, I think there's maybe a 10% 10, 10 difference. There's not a massive difference in terms of the ride quality, which means you still have exceptional ride quality. You have magnetic ride control. You also have an air suspension. So that makes this one of the most comfortable luxury SUVs that money can buy. This is just phenomenal ride quality, and you are going to enjoy it every single day that you're in this vehicle. Heck, I'm getting a massage right now. It's just a unique experience to have the engine and the performance that this vehicle does have, but also the comfort that comes with having an Escalade, that's for sure. Exactly, and that is going to be today's slam dunk, because I think that's exactly the recipe that Cadillac needed for this Escalade V, and they nailed it. Yeah. All right, and let's go ahead and hop into our air ball. Now, we talked about this a little off camera. Of course, it's hard to come up with an air ball for a product like this because it's just so so good um we have a cop behind us so i guess you, i guess we could come up with two air balls maybe one of them is that this thing is going to get so much police attention you're probably going to have to spend about two three hundred dollars a month on speeding tickets because the police is like a police magnet I, I swear to you guys a giant red um escalade with a big v8 motor uh is just not something that the police don't notice <laughs> that's for sure um <laughs> now our real air ball though is this interior i will say could have a few special v elements i think that would put it a little bit over the top um when you hop in here it's basically exactly the same as an escalade sport platinum certainly not a bad thing this is a beautifully crafted cabin um but i would maybe like to have some V headrest or something, maybe some special trim pieces going on in here to remind me that I did get the V just on interior materials. Now, another practical element you might be curious about the fuel economy, Cadillac actually measures this in smiles per gallon, not miles per gallon. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's all you need to be concerned about. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't really want to know no. what what this gets but it's we'll not, tell you it's anyways. not good <laughs> it's not good it's rated at 11 16 13 we haven't quite been getting that let's see 11 we're getting 11 miles a gallon in our test um <laughs> and that is of course on premium fuel um so yeah definitely not good fuel economy one thing worth noting though <clears throat> no gas guzzler tax on this model so um that's, that's something that's nice because a lot of really expensive products that get really terrible fuel economy get gas guzzler. This is not one of those, so that's that's a nice benefit. And lastly, let's wrap up with pricing. How much is the Escalade V going to cost you? Well, of course, it's not a cheap option. It's not something that the everyday average person is going to be able to afford. Of course, that's not really what this was targeting. Um, the V standard, which is what we have today, standard wheelbase, meaning is going to come in at $149,195. Of course, there are really almost no options that you can get on this vehicle. Uh, the VESV, which you can actually get the long wheelbase version on the V model, is $152,195. So a $3,000 price premium for that. Now, our paint color on this one is $1,225. We also have the optional uh, refrigerator in the center console, uh, plus the destination charge of $1,795. We're looking at a grand total on this one at $151,865. Yeah, 
you know, to conclude, really there's a lot of things you could say about this. Um, I think this is a vehicle that really, it needed to be insane. Like the whole point of it is to be insane. And it's so insane that it makes sense. Well guys, thanks so much for joining us on this in-depth review of the all new 2023 Cadillac Escalade V. Now, of course, we certainly have enjoyed spending the last seven days with this ridiculous $150,000 Escalade V. So if you enjoyed watching this, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. Also tell a friend and a family member because that is what gets us the opportunity to spend time with rare vehicles like this. Now, we also have TikTok and Instagram where we have other forms of media that you might want to check out. And we'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.